Chargers and the Packers, and a showdown for the ages at Lambeau. It's all on Fox and your Fox Sports app. Odell Beckham Jr. addressed what he wants out of the next team he signs with, saying, quote, I'm tired of living out of suitcases. I've done the rock and roll life. He also said all the, quote, top teams are indeed calling. Shannon, what's your biggest takeaway from what Odell's saying here? Odell isn't interested in a one-year deal. Um, he's not interested in being somewhere for, somewhere for the rest of the season, Skip. He wants a long-term deal, which means guaranteed money, and he wants it to be multiple years. And he wants to go somewhere, as Jen put, mentioned in the read, where he can buy a house. And that might not be in Dallas. Like I said, there's supply and demand. There's a great demand for his service, but the supply is limited because he's only one person. So with that being said, all things, it might not be in Dallas. Dallas, yes, Dallas wants him, but Buffalo wants him. Green Bay could potentially uh, might want him. The Ravens might get him. You buy a house in Buffalo? No, but I'm just look. It, it he might not buy. He might. I mean, he might just live there. I mean, during the season, Skip. I just don't think the man wants to live in a hotel. And I think if you go to Green, you go to Dallas for for one year. He's not interested in that. I want someone that's going to give me stability, even if I don't purchase a home there. I want to know that, guess what? Next year, off-season program, I could potentially have somewhere to go and not be back in this thing again, free agency, and like, okay, who's out here recruiting Odell again? And Skip, look, Odell has has five 100 yards. They don't have a guy with 100 yards receiving. That's the first time since 1973 that the Cowboys in eight games does not have a guy, a receiver that's gone over 100 yards. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. I think them and the Giants are the only two teams that doesn't have a 100-yard receiver thus far this year. Yep. That could have changed. Well, they were on a bye week, so I know the Giants have a 100-yard receiver. Yep. Uh, CD leads the team in catching with 42, followed by Noah Brown, followed by Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup is slowly coming back from a torn ACL last year, yep. so he's trying to get back up to speed. Jane Washington is expected to come off IR at some point in time. Uh, in the very near future. Um, and so they could definitely use Odell. But Skip, there are a lot of teams that could pro- that believe they could need that they need Odell services. And so with that being said, the Cowboys are gonna have to come to the table with an offer. I don't believe he's just gonna take an offer, well, this is America's team. I got a star on the side of my helmet. He wants something a little bit more impactful, which means money. Star on my helmet, I can't feed my baby. My baby wanna go to private. As a matter of fact, he wanna go to Harvard, Yale. Might even want to go to Savannah State. That costs money. We, Wait, did you just put Savannah yeah, State in the same breath? Yeah, I did. I sure did. Harvard sure did. And Yale? Yes. Okay. But anyway. Maybe. <laughs> you hate her. You don't want to go to Vanderbilt. You don't want to be there. Everybody wants to go to Vanderbilt. It's impossible to get into because you told me your sister, right, tried to get into. No, well, no, 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 no. No, uh, uh, my daughter's. Uh, um, my I'm not da- your my, sister. Yeah, you're... no, no. My, daughter, my daughter's uh, sister okay. got into Vanderbilt. All right. Actually, she got into the. High end program. Okay, well there you go. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Skip it. Well, but and, I'm saying, and you were very proud of that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, my uh, my my daughter's in. Uh, she's in clinicals right now. Yep. So I'm 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 very proud of her. Skip, there's a good chance your Cowboys are not going to get Odell. And there's a good chance we do get okay. Odell. Okay, I gave it 10. You gave it, you said, that, I think you gave it no, yes, 90 You gave it 10%. Percent. Yeah, I gave not, it 10%. Not on a scale of 1 or 10, no, no, you no. gave it 10%. I gave it 10% chance. I gave it 90%. Yes, yes. Because so, that's what's left over when you take 10, right? Yeah, so we are definitely at different ends of the spectrum on this. And then, voila, here came USA Today today, the respected Nate Davis, who covers pro football yeah. and has for a long time for USA Today. He ranked 13 teams and put Dallas as the number one destination for question? Odell. Did he use the term myth? Mythology and any of those other 12, 13 scenarios. He did not. Okay. But he also made the great point, actually, that Odell fits within the mythology, right? So, in other words, you said Odell is a real. No, it, it's that Odell's <laughs> aura and mystique matches our aura and mystique, which remains all time high, despite the fact that we haven't even been to an NFC championship game in 27 years. Well, I saw Odell, I saw Odell mystique and aura. Do something last year that well, I didn't see he, you guys do. He became a Super Bowl catalyst, so why not go at him? And I'm not saying he's Neon Dion Primetime Sanders for the 1995 Cowboys, Cowboys, but it's just the presence of having Odell in your locker room on your side because sometimes it's mystery to me, but today's players are in awe of Odell Beckham because of his 
sort of Iverson-esque capabilities, mm-hmm. his Kyrie-esque capabilities with the football. He's like Kyrie is with the basketball. He's got handles. He can put on pregame shows that are Globetrotter-esque. And because he is such a, a social media giant, it, it, it creates awe among the younger players because there is an awe of his presence on social right. as, as his presence on a football field. Okay. Okay, so he was in the perfect spot last year, and I'm going to be objective about this. My first point that I'm going to make is when when Odell says, I want to sink roots in, I need to buy a home somewhere. Yeah, I'm saying, well, well, wait a second. The truth is you own a home in the Los Angeles area. I'm not sure if it's Hollywood Hills or Beverly Hills or one of them. Might be Hidden Hills. That's a little far for him to travel. It it might be. But any of those will work. Trust me, they work. Yeah. The point is, he found Valhalla here last year because he went to the one place where he already owned a home. Right. And a place that he loves because he was born to either be in New York or L.A. I think Dallas also because that's the palace nah. of the National Football League. But the point was he had it made. He's playing opposite Cooper Cup, who can take a lot of the focus off Odell so that Odell can be single covered. I, I promise you, especially in the playoffs last year, he was singled every down that he played. Yeah. Single cover. And we made him pay for that. Okay. And you made him pay because you that's payable. But when you got Cooper Cup over there drawing triple coverage, boy, you got a chance well, to. Who draw, so let me ask you a question. Who's going to draw, draw the triple, double and triple coverage in Dallas? CD Dam. But stop <laughs> it. You know, good <laughs> with at CD Double, baby. for sure. Stop, Skip. Okay. Well, we need him. We need him to at least be a, a number two, maybe even a 1A. No, but you're you over there hyping Michael Gallup. Well, I we am hyping Michael Gallup. Gallup. Well, he's made a lot of big catches. I think right here, right now, Michael Gallup's about as good as Odell is. After all this, he's been through five surgeries, he's been to three, uh, I'm sorry, two surgeries on the same knee. How do we know what he is? It's like. Well, I, then why you want him since okay, you don't know? I, I keep sitting back saying, boy, it's good to be Odell right now because all of a sudden he's it, man. Everybody wants him. He's turned 30 years of age. He's coming off a second ACL. God only knows how, he, how he, it took. Do you believe he'll be better than Noah Brown? Well, sure he was. But, I, hey, Noah Brown has been very good with Cooper Cup because they saved the season. They turned it around. Okay? Man, stop saying okay? that. All right, well, well they did. Okay, I, I saw a stat this morning. Dallas Cowboys lead the league against the spread. They're, what is it, uh, eight? Are we up to eight games now? They're six and two, or is it seven and two? Or do we up to nine? I'm losing track of the. They're six and six two. Six and two. Okay, so they're they're six and two on the field. They're also six and two against the spread. That's what they are. Why is that? It's because of Cooper Rush and Noah Brown. Because they they kept beating the spread when people said, "Well, they they got no chance." Everybody shoveled dirt on them. Well, they breath. lost the spread to Tampa, and I think they lost the spread to Philly. Okay. Well, well, sure, they lost to Tampa, but that was opening night with Dak Prescott, and he stunk, right? Y'all stunk. Okay, well. And you stunk against Philly. Okay, but Cooper Rush and Noah Brown saved the season, and I will be forever grateful to both of them. But can right now Odell come in and be a little better than Noah Brown? Well, yeah. I don't know. Noah doesn't have any connection with Dak because remember the, the crucial play on Thanksgiving Day almost a year ago now, right? Overtime, they win the toss, and he gets to third and whatever it was, third and five. And Dak throws it a little behind Noah Brown, and he. Man, that man was, couldn't come catch that ball. That man would have needed a dip net. Stop okay. Dak. Right, a terrible we'll pass. Throw, blame it on Dak. I'm happy with that. I'm good with that. But the point is, we need him on the field. We need him in the locker room. We need him up on the marquee because Jerry Jones is a super salesman, and this would help sell the Cowboys what? and help sell Odell's brand. What about Buffalo? It's about brand. Buffalo could need you, it. You're lost in Buffalo, and you're not going to drop roots in Buffalo, and you're not going to buy a house in Buffalo. People live in Buffalo. You make it see don't nobody live in Buffalo. Like it's it's like been, uninhabitable. I've been there many times, so and I. I like it. I, I could I mean, live right, there. And, and Canada, right across the board. Okay. Well, right across the board. Good, good for Canada. Okay. Toronto. I, I, boom. Oh, Odell Metropolis. wants nothing to do with Buffalo. You Odell hate wanted nothing to do with Cleveland, Ohio, and I like Cleveland. <sighs> he wanted nothing to do with it. I'll never really? forget that. He's going back and forth to one of his followers, and he said, y- y'all got any good restaurants out there? Yeah. It's like out there, wherever you are yeah. in Cleveland, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I know Cincinnati known for chili. 
Yeah. They put cheese on chili. So what's, what's Cleveland? What's the dish in Cleveland? I, I have no idea, but I like it. <laughs> and I've spent a lot of time in Cleveland. Every time I go there, I think they're good people. We, we was out in Cleveland for the, uh, the NBA Finals we that year. We were. We were. But would I want to live there? No. No. Would I want to spend a football suit? No. 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 Okay. So Dallas beckons. It's perfectly beckons for beckon, right? Here, here we go. Beckham says no. Well, you don't know what he's saying. He's going to bend it. To possibly Bend Buffalo. It like Beckham to yep. Buffalo? <laughs> I think not. Maybe Kansas City. Okay. I, I, I like to see him in I like to see him in Baltimore. Okay. With well, L Jack. Could work. It could work. I, Philly, he he's already acknowledged that Philly has reached out already. He said this is a week ago, but he said a 7 0 team has reached out. Ooh. Okay. With AJ? Yeah, boy, he could be the forgotten man there. Well, that, that doesn't look at you now. Now, now he forgotten man. <laughs> well. You told me he was a forgotten man in Cleveland. Okay. I, I told you the truth, and he knows this in his heart of hearts. Odell Beckham Jr. was born to be a Cowboy. In fun. the end, he, he was born on the football field against the Dallas Cowboys with the greatest catch ever. Okay? So, again, I don't know why he wouldn't just go right back to the Rams and they would. Man, that's right. They, he said he okay. wants to win. Okay. Well. All right. So he got his ring, but he already won. So he's a made man. No, right? I want to win again. Skip, that's the thing about winning. Once you do it once, you want to win, you want to win more. Yep. That's what most people want to do. Not all. Some people get content. Well, I've got one, I'm good. Or I've made this much, I'm good. I've got this, I'm good. No. Hey, Odell needs to become like a son to Jerry Jones because till death do them part, Jerry will take care of his son, Odell. He'll make sure after Odell retires that he's got his back. He'll help him out. You, you need Jerry on your side. Jerry is a powerful man. I believe, the, I believe the Pagoulas would do that too up in Buffalo. Okay. But I believe the Hunts. The Pagoulas like are Bichotti. one thing, but it's Jerry Steve, Jones. I mean, can you imagine play like a raven? Okay. He, I mean, he looked like a raven too. No, I don't think he does. Yeah. No, he, he's too cool for that. The Ravens are they're, they're hard hats. They, they come after you. I don't they, think Odell they, comes they, after you. They 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 boots. They yeah. they're definitely they definitely a work boot. They work. <laughs> they, are. You, they go to work and they go to work. Yeah, and, and they want to smash <laughs> the you. The right race in the mouth. Yes. is on, and we'll be all over OBJ. 